Ever find yourself skimming the first few paragraphs of an article, just trying to get to the good stuff? We've all been there. A weak introduction is like a lukewarm cup of coffee. It just doesn't grab your attention. But a captivating introduction, that's a shot of espresso. It wakes you up, draws you in, and leaves you wanting more. A strong introduction is crucial, not just for your entire piece, but for each section within it. Think of each section as its own mini story. Each needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. And just like with any good story, you need to hook your reader from the very first line. How do you make sure your section introductions are as strong as your morning coffee? Let's dive in and explore the art of crafting compelling openers that will keep your readers engaged from start to finish. What are some of your favorite ways to start a new section? Share your thoughts in the comments below. So, how do we actually write these captivating introductions for each section? This is a question that often stumps even the most seasoned writers. Crafting an engaging introduction is an art that can set the tone for the entire piece. It's simpler than you might think. The key lies in understanding the essence of what you want to convey and then presenting it in a way that immediately grabs attention. Start by considering the purpose of the section. What is the main message or insight you want your readers to take away? This foundational step is crucial because it guides the direction of your introduction. What key point are you trying to make? Identifying this will help you focus your thoughts and ensure that your introduction is aligned with the overall objective of the section. Once you've identified the main takeaway, craft an opening sentence or two that clearly and concisely introduces that point. This initial hook should be compelling enough to draw your readers in and make them want to read further. You can do this by posing a thought-provoking question, presenting a surprising statistic, or even sharing a brief anecdote. These techniques are effective because they engage the reader's curiosity and make them eager to learn more. Sharing a brief anecdote can be particularly powerful. Personal stories or real-life examples can make your content more relatable and memorable. For example, if you're writing a section about the benefits of daily exercise, you might begin with a question like, did you know that just 30 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly improve your mood and boost your energy levels? This not only piques interest, but also sets the stage for the valuable information that follows. By answering this question directly in the following paragraphs, you provide valuable information while seamlessly transitioning into the heart of your section. This method ensures that your readers are engaged from the very beginning and are more likely to stay with you throughout the piece. Remember, clarity is key. Clear and concise writing helps your readers easily follow your train of thought, making your content more effective and enjoyable to read. Keep your sentences short and to the point, ensuring that your readers can easily follow your train of thought. Avoid unnecessary jargon or complex language that might confuse your audience. What are some other effective ways to open a section and immediately grab your reader's attention? Consider using vivid imagery or a powerful quote that resonates with your topic. These elements can add depth and interest to your introduction, making it even more compelling. Additionally, you can use a bold statement or a controversial opinion to spark curiosity and debate. This approach can be particularly effective in engaging readers and encouraging them to think critically about the subject matter. Ultimately, the goal is to create an introduction that not only informs, but also inspires and motivates your readers to continue exploring your content. By setting the stage effectively, you pave the way for a successful and impactful piece of writing. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They serve as the spark that ignites curiosity and engagement in the minds of readers. They can pique curiosity, encourage reflection, and even challenge preconceived notions. When a reader encounters a well-crafted question, it can lead them down a path of introspection and discovery. However, not all questions are created equal. Some questions may fall flat, failing to engage the reader or provoke any meaningful thought. To truly engage your reader, you need to ask the right questions. These are questions that resonate with the reader's experiences and interests, prompting them to think deeply and critically. But what makes a question right? It's not just about relevance. It's about the ability to open up a dialogue and invite the reader to explore new perspectives. A good question is relevant to the topic at hand, thought-provoking, 
and encourages the reader to actively participate in the conversation. It should be designed to stimulate curiosity and foster a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Avoid questions with obvious yes or no answers. These types of questions can often lead to disengagement, as they don't require much thought or reflection. Instead, aim for open-ended questions that invite deeper thinking and exploration. Open-ended questions encourage readers to draw from their own experiences and knowledge, making the reading experience more interactive and engaging. For instance, instead of asking, do you think social media has a positive impact on society? Try something like, in what ways has social media changed the way we interact with each other and the world around us? This type of question encourages a more detailed and thoughtful response. See the difference? The second question prompts a more nuanced and engaging response. It invites the reader to consider various aspects and implications, leading to a richer discussion. After posing your question, take the time to thoroughly answer it, providing evidence and examples to support your claims. This not only helps to clarify your point, but also shows the reader that you have thoughtfully considered the question. This demonstrates to your readers that you value their time and engagement. By providing a well-rounded answer, you show that you respect their intelligence and are committed to fostering a meaningful dialogue. Now it's your turn. Think about the questions you ask in your own writing or discussions. What are some questions you've encountered in your own reading that have sparked your curiosity or challenged your thinking? Reflect on how these questions have influenced your understanding and perspective. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights could inspire others and contribute to a vibrant and engaging conversation. Hash Hash Section 4 Calls to Action and Surveys Inviting your readers to the party You've crafted compelling introductions, asked thought-provoking questions, and provided insightful answers. Your readers are hooked. Now what? How do you keep them engaged and make them feel like they are part of a larger conversation? It's time to take engagement to the next level by inviting your readers to actively participate in the conversation. This means creating opportunities for them to share their thoughts, opinions, and experiences. This is where calls to action and surveys come in. These tools can transform your readers from passive consumers of information into active contributors. But how do you effectively incorporate these elements without disrupting the flow of your writing? It's a delicate balance, but when done right, it can significantly enhance reader engagement. The key is to make them feel like a natural extension of the conversation. Think of it as inviting a friend to share their thoughts over a cup of coffee. For example, after discussing the importance of setting realistic goals, you can seamlessly introduce a call to action. You might include a call to action like this. Ready to start setting your own achievable goals? Ready to start setting your own achievable goals? This question not only prompts your readers to think about their own goals, but also encourages them to take the next step. Download our free goal-setting worksheet to get started. Providing a tangible resource like a worksheet can make the process feel more accessible and actionable. Surveys are another fantastic way to gather valuable insights from your readers and make them feel heard. They can provide you with direct feedback and help you understand your audience better. Keep your surveys short, sweet, and focused on a specific topic. This ensures that your readers won't feel overwhelmed and are more likely to participate. For instance, after exploring the benefits of different writing techniques, you could ask your readers for their input. You could ask your readers, which writing tip resonated with you the most? This question invites them to reflect on what they've learned and share their personal takeaways. Which writing tip resonated with you the most? Provide a few options for them to choose from or invite them to share their own thoughts in the comments. Provide a few options for them to choose from, such as Tip A, write every day, Tip B, read widely, or Tip C, edit ruthlessly. Or invite them to share their own thoughts in the comments. This not only fosters engagement, but also creates a sense of community among your readers. By incorporating calls to action and surveys strategically throughout your writing, you transform passive readers into active participants. This approach encourages them to engage more deeply with your content. You transform passive readers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and encouraging them to return for more. When readers feel like they are part of a community, they are more likely to stay engaged and loyal, fostering a sense of community and encouraging them to return for more. This sense of belonging can be incredibly powerful and can turn casual readers into dedicated followers. 
Let's put this into practice. Think about the content you've just read and consider how you can apply these strategies. What's one question you'd love to ask your readers about today's topic? This is your chance to engage with your audience and learn from their perspectives. Share it in the comments section below and let's get the conversation flowing. Your readers' insights can provide valuable feedback and help you create even more engaging content in the future. Tao, Section 5, Conclusion, The Journey Continues. Mastering the art of writing engaging content is an ongoing journey. It's about constantly experimenting, learning, and refining your craft. As we've explored, crafting compelling introductions, asking thought-provoking questions, and actively engaging your readers through calls to action and surveys are essential ingredients in this recipe for success. Remember, every sentence is an opportunity to captivate your reader, to spark their curiosity, and to leave them wanting more. So, embrace the power of the written word and never stop exploring new ways to connect with your audience.